easy to define Steady living bring you peace of mind Or would you ever trip my Welcome to Peach Farm. It is August 10th, 2009. First year of the Peach Farm School. That I am sure now is what we should be calling it. It will take a small army of local people to get this local school really up and functioning and moving forward over time. There's half a million people here to feed. How do we create a structure so that we've grown the tomatoes, we've made them into pasta sauce, we've uh, pickled and, you know, whatever we can grow here that we have figured out how to consume it to our best potential. That is the mission and goal of the farm school, to feed Spokane. So, things happen. I, I called this last week the week of the the good, the bad, the ugly, and the fantastic. And there's a common saying that one door closes and another one opens, and I've been living through that this week. So we've put a huge amount of work into this farm. As you've been following us, you can see that we've put in permanent beds, we've put in uh, perennial plants, the biggest thing we've done this year is learned a tremendous amount. It's been about a week since I realized what was happening and that we would have to figure out a different plan for the farm school. And so we closed the grocery store because if we can't get the permits, there's no sense staying open if it's not absolutely profitable. And we can focus our resources on the things that really move us forward. So I was having a conversation a couple days after I found out we were closing the store and couldn't get the permits with somebody else who said, you know, what you're doing is amazing and we need this here and we need this farm school and I'm putting down $10,000 for a piece of land that we will buy. So we will acquire our first piece of land that will be the farm school and it will also be our first piece of land in the land trust so we can cut our teeth on this kind of all the way around. So we are already looking for that piece of land. Um, it's pretty important that we find it before the snow flies because we need to do a soil test. We need to make sure there's water. We really need for it to be on a bus line. Um, we've had probably a couple thousand kids on the farm, which means in the future it's gonna be a whole lot more than that as we you know, have all of these um, classrooms of children come besides all of the farmhand programs where all of these juvenile justice and people on state assistance and service learning through universities, all of those guys need to be able to get to the farm and not everybody has a car. We are dedicated to serving a lower income population and making sure that they can grow their own food and they have access to the education on how to do that and we help them make that next leap to living a full life. We've been leasing this land and our goal when we got it was that we wanted the farm but we also knew that the farm would not have enough money to pay the lease and so this was a union between Fresh Abundance and Peach this particular leased project because of a store that Fresh Abundance could uh, sell groceries out of and therefore Fresh Abundance could pay at least half the lease and hopefully from the proceeds of the field we would then be able to cover the other half of the lease and all in all I think that would have panned out great except that we've been running the store for a year and a half and it's been eking by, not really quite hitting profitability, um, but worth having for the farm. But we decided that we have enough support out here in the valley that if we got the right refrigeration and we added more product lines and we got wine and beer and we really upgraded the grocery store, that we would be able to really make a go of it. Fresh Abundance piece would be profitable and stable and we'd keep the farm and the goal was eventually to offer the owner to buy it. So when we went to ask for permits to get 
the grocery store upgraded, we were told that we couldn't have them because the store was not legal. There's been a store there for about 60 years, um, but apparently at no time during that history has there been a legal permit taken out for the grounds, the buildings, the infrastructure. So really interesting time in history that they could say, no, we're not going to make this easy for you. And so it was a few days that were felt really cloudy and wow, we've put so much into this and this feels really hard. So very interesting week. We will continue to do this farm throughout the rest of the farm season. Um, we will possibly next year even farm it. Everything's kind of open right now while we figure out how to move forward. But what we know is um, I've been writing a lot of grants. Um, pretty soon we'll have a grant writer join our team. And in order to do this well, effectively, we need at least five acres of land that will have our vision is a multitude of, of things on it. So you have a, a section that is, you know, probably some cows and some milk cows and some milk goats and some meat chickens and some laying chickens and making sure that they go through a rotation. We want aquaculture and vermiculture and uh, cheese making. And we have to bring all of these food systems back into our community. And in order to do that, we need the infrastructure. We need a place where we can go and learn them so that each artisan, each farmer can then go off and have those skills and use them. The other thing that we'll do in the farm school is um, get more land, partner with people who have land, be willed land, raise money for land, put it in the land trust, and train these farmers and keep them under the peach umbrella so they are peach farms and that way we protect the land from development and we protect the farmers from going away. Once we teach them these valuable skills, we want them here and we want to nourish and protect them. So if their crop gets wiped out from hail, we're going to make sure that they're okay for the year. They're, they're not going to be giving up the land or you know having to give it back to the bank. We're going to protect them, their livelihood, their talents in our community and work together as a community building local food, vital food enthusiasts together to bring local food to our community in a large way, creating a new model. Steady living a change of lifestyle. Steady living with my body for a while.